Somalia's prime minister has publicly backed a campaign to ban female genital mutilation. Uh, this is a huge thing that's coming out of Somalia right now. Uh, it's currently against the law. Constitutionally, this cannot occur. It is against the law, but it still happens all the time. Uh, the UN Children's Agency, you probably know it as UNICEF, has come out with numbers saying that 90% of females in Somalia uh, have some form of FGM. Uh, extremely sad to see that it's still happening in 2016. While, while the Prime Minister has come out and basically he's joined millions who have uh, signed this online petition uh, which was organized by an online campaign group called Avaz. Uh, while, while, while he's done that, that's great. Okay, that we, we see it becoming something that people are talking about, the Prime Minister as well, of all people. <laughs> but, but at the same time, it's so embedded within the culture, a law coming into place won't necessarily change it, because it didn't. Um, and the, the Prime Minister coming out basically and condemning it publicly probably won't make the change either. But I think it's important, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a first step to see uh, it at least on the table, because it's something that a lot of people don't talk about in Somalia, and it's kind of happening silently. They, I, some of the stats show around 90% 90 of 90 women percent, yeah. uh, getting circumcised in Somalia, and all of this for no medicinal benefit whatsoever. Mm. And, and girls as young as seven years old have been reported, uh, or even probably younger than that, uh, as, as being circumcised. This is a widely practiced thing, and they tried to introduce something that would stop it and slow it down in the past, mm -hmm. but it, it didn't really come to fruition. The fact that now the Prime Minister is backing it, it makes it far more concrete. But as you mentioned, you know, this is a cultural thing. Yeah. Passing a bill, making it illegal, wouldn't necessarily get rid of it, but certainly it would at least bring to the forefront uh, the fact that this is not something that, um, you know, on a global scale is acceptable. And at least it would make people sort of acknowledge that. And by making it illegal, presumably it would at least reduce the rates. Right. And I think there's two ways of looking at it. I think you could see this and say, well, OK, he signed some online petition. OK, he's just doing it, you know, to look good. But on the other hand, we have to realize that we have to step back and look at this in a much broader sense. This isn't something that's going to change because of a law. It didn't. It's not going to change because of an online petition. It's something that's going to happen gradually over generation after generation because it's been happening for who knows how long. Sure. Well, President Obama just did his tour of Africa and women's rights. Uh, this was one of the things that he was speaking out about. Uh, and when he went to Kenya, for example, he was he was talking as well about genital mutilation. And he he's pushed this issue. He's pushed this women's rights issue. And so I would imagine that it's partly because of this and because of the Western influence that the Prime Minister has has been sort of urged and encouraged to come up and stand up and say something right. about this. It has to because you know these aren't doctors, these aren't people who are trained medically to do this a lot of the time, right? Um, these are happening in rural areas in unsafe conditions, things aren't sterile. So if if it doesn't kill you right away as a young woman, it's definitely gonna stay with you the rest of your life, not just the physical scars, but but mentally as well. Uh, it, it's, it's meant to damage you and, and belittle you. It, it, it's, it's extremely sad and it's something that's been happening for a very long time. But look, like I said, we have to look at the broader sense and realize that things will change just over time. At least for now, we can start with this online petition signed by the Prime Minister of Somalia.